We've learned pretty much all we can, all, all that we can about the situation at the time of the murder. Oh, in that case, is that another silly thing that we create? Yes. Would you do the honors? Which one is this? I would like you to recreate the scene for when the victims the president's kidnapping. Ooh. That one. Right, now that I know where the snowman is, this makes more sense. This is viewed from within the orphanage as such as the orphanage. Alright, I'll be creating a scene based on Mr. Cameron's photo. It's down there with the Francisco. Down here. <laughs> based on the snowman's position. And you could probably look at the lamp as well. Those sound like failing sounds. Mr. Cameron is standing in the middle of the flower beds. Indeed. And the president and his kingdom are standing on the road. My old mild man based his initial investigation on this man's eyewitness testimony. As a result, it led into believe that the kidnapping and this facility were related. And that's how he came to suspect the head of the orph orphanage, Patricia Roland. Yeah. But in court, at least the best way that is th this testimony. Yes, if it meant nothing. Why would he do that? Well, he clearly has some dog in the fight. A dog and in the fight, maybe? No, probably not. The president and his kidnapper were not standing inside the orphanage grounds. So a connection between the orphanage and the kidnapping was difficult to prove. Fair enough. I think that snowman is, that is missing the handprint right now. I see. It's not like they're all inside the orphanage at all. The was seen. <laughs> no matter how much evidence the detectives gather at the crime scene. It doesn't mean squat if the prosecutor won't use it in court. That is the pettiest that's some kind of connection with Patricia Rowland. I think that they had some kind of deal going on. So this is why Lank hates all prosecutors or something like that. Doesn't seem like a very strong motive for hitting all of them. Blah. Seems like a good motive for trade place. In other words, do you think that Nasus one of the kidnappers? But that's incredible, huh? However, your father was convicted, convinced that Patricia Roland was the culprit. Your father was a highly capable investigator, I presume. There's no reason if Blaze was related to this, which he obviously was with taking around all that. There's no reason he would want to help out somebody who's falsely suspected in Inspect if it's gonna see if they're gonna go to prison in his stead. Might he have a, some other basis for his conclusion besides the eyewitness testimony? Yeah, I think he did, but I have no idea what it was. I presume he's no longer alive, right? Based on based on the pr past tense, you can't just call him and ask, because that'd be really damn convenient right now. <laughs> Mad man never really talked much about this case. Agent Lang's father, Dai Long Lang. President Huang's most trusted and confident. This is a ridiculously mandy picture. <laughs> well, the truth he discovered was suppressed by Blaze the Best. Those flowers out there back there behind the mask. Well, I can't help but notice. That metal on his chest might even be mulled after it. First, they must find that hidden truth. When was the incident? 11.15 a.m. And the other one is when? In the morning, right? Hang on. Hang on. You know, I just realized that I... That's... Uh, our uh, companion is the one person I keep forgetting to present things to. I don't necessarily see what time that one was. was. This is 
7.22 a.m. No, 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 not, not logic. Damn it, me. Thank uh, mm, mm. you. Green one, fortune. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you, Kay. Now. Six hours earlier. <laughs> I know why I'm just to the other side. Judge Cotton is like, you know what? Yeah, I, this is this is fine. We can show this to a kid. Interesting stories to still have John here. I mean, John is a suspect, so he can't go much anywhere, but... Let me look at this as a boss. Cameron took a photo of the president from this spot. And he also got Miss Crane, right? At the time, the killer was already behind him. I think the murder is brick! Uh, why is there similar to in blood here? I don't know what Okay. That seems like a bug in case for equation. Now that I look at it, this burnt area is really diagonal in lots of ways. I won't trust it like this. I've inspected every suspicious looking look and cranny. Finally. Okay, the handprint for the button. Oops, it is. That's like the bag out. <laughs> oh, that's the button for backing out. Angle zoom in. Um, about this snowman. When we created the scene where Mr. Cameron was killed, it had already melted. Its guts were so soggy, and one of its buttons, button lights was missing. Indeed, at this stage, it appears that, it's, that most of its original form was still intact. Although, there's one spot that looks unnaturally lacking. Poor thing! I bet another kid must have plucked it off! Although, from a thief's perspective, the kid does have some promise. Damn it. Was it blocked off by one of the children to hope it? No, perhaps. Yeah, the other eye. It was taken off by an entirely different person altogether. But the why? Yeah, but this is very, very strange. Obviously, I just don't see why. Eureka! This no man. Wouldn't you say it's missing something? Ah, it's right there. It's missing. You already, we already established that, okay? Precisely. And what's more, that missing eye happens to be in our position. The pattern is that Miss. Miss Cameron was holding. It's got the exact same design as the snowman's left eye. If we assume this button was indeed the snowman's eye, a huge contradiction arises. If this button is the snowman's eye, what contradiction arises? The location of the victim, the location of the snowman, the location of the president. Pillars on are on the others. The, uh, the lamps are on the other side of the pillar. We can see that. Lamps are the other side of the pillar, and the, that 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 does match with what's happening here. The person that can be seen behind the snowman on, on the other side of this gate. Based on the camera, the lamps are he is on the street side, while the snowman is on the right right side of the gate from our perspective. When, and gave up views on the street. And later when it had melted, it was the same spot. That is uh, left hand? What am I missing here? Again, it's cutting off the text. <laughs> that happened earlier. Red glitch. The location of the victim. Location of the snowman. Snowman location matches. Location of the president. I mean, it only shows that the victim for some reason tore it off way earlier for no reason. Location of the president. 
the case of the victim, I suppose, but because that's just the very strange. Oh, but it's not like the snowman has its eye in a picture. Then it would be a contradiction. But it doesn't, so it's, he's already taken it off. And the victim was wholly under the button. Furthermore, the button was stained with blood. It just seems that he'd taken the button for some reason. And then held on it, then he got hit in the head and it got caught in blood. In other words, he grabbed the button after he was attacked. No, he could have just have blood flow into the button. Unless his hand isn't bloody, in that case, that's another thing. For example, if you were to pick someone it, it is this way. After being struck in the back of the head, Miss Cameron lost his balance. As he was falling, he reached out his hand to pause the nearby snowman. Meaning that this picture was really staged. However, it could not support his weight and he collapsed while still grasping the button. We really are sta saying that this picture was staged, which means the president was... I mean, either in on it, but he, was, he also had a gun pointed to him, so he... <laughs> It could have been staged in lots of ways. Ah, ah, that, that means... It's the camera was near the snowman when he was attacked. Now what's interesting is that... If Dihyu Yuang thinks that Patricia Roland might have been the person who kidnapped him. Which even if she got declared not guilty, he probably would still suspect her to some degree. If he had really gotten kidnapped. It's interesting that he would put nightly in the had night sent into this prison uh, handled by Patricia Roland. Um, hmm. Maybe he didn't just pay attention to that, but it's just interesting. I I'm mean, Nicolas and Cosmo think that he just wasn't kidnapped, that he was just stood up. It really does seem that way. Indeed. At the very least he must have been within the arm's reach. However, It's quite clear that he would not have been able to reach it from his current position. But Mr. Cameron's footprints are lead towards the flower bed. So his shoes were flipped. Can we be certain that those footprints really are Mr. Cameron's? It seems we'll need to investigate them one more time. <laughs> Understood. I'll be great that the body was discovered since one more time. This takes too long. These footprints should match up with Mr. Cameron's shoes, right? So his shoes were changed afterwards. This is Inspector again, as I kind of called. The footprints here seem to lead to, to and from the body. These footprints were believed to be the culprits. Wait, this XX. Oh. You want me to inspect this again? How do you? Something like that? Okay, it might be just me, but are his shoes different? Are those not non matching shoes? Well, his shoes are not match the footprints, however. Hmm, and his shoes. It seems like they were not the ones that originally worn by the victim. What do you mean? If you look closely, you'll see that the laces were tied up strangely. And the sides do not seem to fit quite right either. Did it belong to Cameron? The culprit likely placed the shoes on the victim's feet after he died. Interesting. Very interesting. That would mean that these few footprints lead leading up the victim's feet. This murderer really thought things through, huh? For covering this up. Well, I'm most likely made by someone other than the victim. So then, the, f the footprints leading up to and from the victim's he head was the Mr. Cameron's. No, not necessarily. They seem a little too small to be the victim's footprints. So then, not the footprints are his. Then, which way did Mr. Cameron walk from the orphanage? Then, I suppose. It's quite simple. The victim did not walk in from on his own accord, but rather he was carried. I see. He was carried here after he was murdered by the culprit. That also makes sense. There's somebody really strong then. It really seems to suggest that it would be the president. 
Let's listen to the call one more time. Go to the president. Like the call did not seem like he had seen the president being put with a gun on his face. The picture shows the a gun being put on the president, but not how he was talking about. The facility. What? It, I suppose you could call an office a facility, but it could mean something else as well. President Huang is here at the, here of all places, and what's more, the crap, the light just went off. I can play this, this thing now. He's not saying the president is here with and have a gun pointed to his face. I can't believe it, but it almost looks like he's being kidnapped. Okay, almost. Ha, ha, a gun has been pointed to him with his him being like this. That's not almost. That's not almost. I thought I'd let you know. Testing got off again. Well, this is near the snowman after all. We got Nilo. Shake. Did we? Oh, by four. Here come the facility grounds. No, the police found us. The police found us. I don't see anything particularly clear there yet. Mr. Cameron's body was moved. If you consider the button he was holding on to, it's highly likely that he was killed near this snowman. Indeed. I should take a closer look. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking look and cranny. Is the scarf? Oh, it's a bucket, that's what that is. Aha! A brick is missing. Over this side. Ah, there's a brick missing here! That. The rest are all in order. It's strange that only, only this one is missing. Well then. That's definitely a collection. Now, were those, were those Pegasus I saw in the door? Perhaps the missing brick was the, was the one used as a murder weapon. The cost has more logic. Ah, yeah, he seems to be the right, just the right size to, to fit in the cap perfectly. Brick? The brick was used to get the camera was from near the snowman. I, uh, I don't quite see what's happening here. It kicked us back into here. I'm not sure we... Like, they, yes, this means that they had to... They moved both the body and the brick, but sure. As I thought, it seems the murder actually occurred near the snowman. Indeed. Well, the... But the button Miss Cameron was holding on, that the murder came from, the, from there. Indeed. Also, if we assume that the killer picked up the brick near the snowman. And then tried to sneak up behind Cameron, Mr. Cameron. Oh, Mr. Cameron told me when I seen the person thinking, picking up the brick. Yes, you're correct. I d huh. That makes it even more so sound like it was the president who did it because he wouldn't suspect the president is silly. Exactly. Okay, please update the recreation. Mr. Cameron was not in the middle of the flower beds, but near the snowman. Okay, I'm on it. But this can't be right either because uh, he was doing a, doing a full call and saying that it almost looks like the president has been kidnapped. Okay, now this person here is unnecessary, me thinks. No matter how you look at it, this is, this is strange. All the people involved in the case are gathered in the same place. Did we make a mistake here or something? One piece of evidence this recreation is based on is odd. If I had to choose which piece of evidence is fake, which piece of evidence is unlikely to be fake? Oh lordy, um, let me think. Well, this one through, this is a good one. The 
photo is fake. I said that earlier. Photo is fake. What's this photo? Really taken by Mr. Cameron? Eh? What do you mean? We have proven that the whoever killed Mr. Cameron also moved the body. For what reason would they have to deliberately move his body? We have the culprit wanted to falsify the scene that Mr. Cameron witnessed. And that's why they took a fake photo? They made the president stand under the straight light and took a photo with cam Cameron's camera. With Cameron's camera. It would have been quite simple. Why is uh, Wolfboy not here for any of this here? To listen on, in on it. He's just kind of standing around. Now that you mention it, Mr. Cameron's camera only had one photo in it, right? And that's strange. Indeed, in all likelihood, the original roll of film had been removed from the camera. And after loading a new roll of film into the camera, the fake photo was taken. I see! So, this photo must have been taken after Mr. Cameron they was killed, right? Yeah, yeah. But that does suggest that there were three people. Two people there and whoever took a picture. Unless he had a, like a timer and a tripod or something. Exactly. This was not the scene Mr. Cameron actually witnessed. It's likely that this photo is forged evidence. Then, why did Mr. Cameron witness the president and his kidnapper? This photo is the only piece of evidence that indicates what Mr. Cameron witnessed. Ah, the testimony he left in the answering machine. Precisely, we should listen to the recording one more time and confirm what was said. Oh, nice picture. Where else could the president and his kidnappers have been? Right here, I should say. We can't actually listen to it again. This is a very unusual style of presentation, but I like it. He was here. Roughly up. Like, I don't. More, no, more, more precisely. They were over there? So, what's the basis for that claim? I, I'd like to be able to. Read, no, listen to in on it again. It didn't let me do it in that shot, despite the fact that they said that I should really listen in on it again. I'm in front of the facility right now, but there's something else right. The light just went off, I can barely see a thing now. So he was by some light, is what you're saying. Do I really need to for my claims? In other words, you don't, you don't doubt, do you? Oh, we're getting way too close to that. Ugh, so it wasn't there. Let's try and remember what Mr. Cameron said his life is the testimony. Pronunciation is going to shit. Did he say something about the situation at the scene? Hardly. Indeed, Mr. Cameron's testimony should provide a major clue right inside the house. Because there's lights there. Or... Or by this light. Wait, how do, why do we know that only these two lights are on? That this would be weird. They could have been inside here, but I don't know why the orphanage would have lights on at, at 1am anyways. I'm gonna say the street light, because I don't think orphan an orphanage would have the lights on at 11am. Okay, they're, they're in the orphanage. They had this suspicious light thing where the light was on the one side. No oh, break, too close to death. Okay, what the fuck do you mean? I'm about to die. This is the why does the why does our um save state <laughs> why does our why can't we like, actually look at the evidence we with this? This is dumb. That, really dumb. Well, that's enough. Unless they want me to specifically point into here. The, here's here. Not the orphanage. Not, not in front of the orphanage. Or not in front of this lamp. Here would be weird considering that he's talking about them and possibly have uh, a kid. Being involved in the kidnapping. This is also weird. Okay, what the fuck do 
see on me at this point. Yeah, hi, hi, hi. Oopsie daisy. Hi. Alright. Yeah, this school, I was surely not to be the dumbest. Lights went off. And as you're seeing that the lights are already off. So do I try it? We tried in front of this light, we tried in front of this place, we tried inside, we tried inside the equal of a fuck's sake. Cameron is standing over here. Here then? Where else is there here? Do we just mean in the middle of the flower beds? I don't. What am I missing here? I know there's for some reason. <sighs> no. What am I missing here? I'm completely overlooking something. I've learned from learned from the case three that uh, dying sets you back a shit ton of time. So I'm not redoing that. I'm just safe going this. I could generally say here. Oh, we we said that these footprints already exist, but these ones don't. Why are we stating that, that these footprints already existed, but these ones didn't? We, why not why these ones didn't exist, but why are we saying that these ones did? So we could be saying that somebody came from here and somebody came from here. I can see, I can see the president having big shoes. It, it, I don't see any good basis to think... I don't right now see any good basis to think that they were in the middle there. You know. What am I overlooking? What... I don't see this, what that even stands out in the least. It's not not in the orphanage, not in front of the orphanage, not by any of the two lights here. We talk about the lights up going out, not in the thing near the light, not at, not at the center central place. By this light, because we're saying that lights went out and this is after that. I don't. This is not giving me a clear time frame. Oh for fuck's sake, Mr. Cameron said that said this on the answering machine. The light. The, uh, I, I don't remember this voice was. The light just went off. I can barely see a thing now. That caught me. The, that, that was a bad one. There's no way to me, for me to know if that picture was before or after the light went off. And you had like two lights that were on, two other lights that were off, and then you, there was an orb in it in which. that could have lights in it. There are only two places here where the lights are broken. Are. Oh, those are broken, are they? The light by the orphanage! Right. Can you go to police after the recreation? Roger! Okay. See, I didn't. I, I, I suppose I didn't picture the light as something that was broken, but something that somebody turned off. That was my mis biggest mistake. This. So the kidnapper was near the orphanage. Why is the blood still simulated here? Indeed. With this, we saw the connection between the orphanage and the kidnapping. So, that's why they moved the body and took a fake photo to create a false test of testimony. In order to remove any suspicion to itself and it's in court. Oh. Hmm, with this, the state of the re recreation has changed completely. At the, the time that body was discovered, scene has probably been greatly impacted as a result. Then, let's go take it out right away! Preparations are ready! Since the state of the recreation has changed once again, I should press the Y button and select Change Recreation. God damn it. Let's give it a try. So they plan to not do it automatically, Warrant. This takes far too long to switch up. Alrighty. So he's killed them. But he's certainly not left here. Hmm, originally, Mr. Cameron's body was here. He didn't want to be consistent with a fake photo. He was moved to the center of the flower beds. Then, the footprints going back and forth from the body. Could they be? I actually want to check something about this picture. No, we, we can't see if the footprints, footprints were there or not. The text getting got off again. Indeed, there is only one possibility at the moment. 
These footprints were probably left when the party was moved to the flower beds. Right, but not by going here to the flower beds and back, but from, by going from the flower beds here and then back to the flower beds. These footprints, footprints here since we'll eat to form the to and from the body. These footprints were believed to be to the, the culprits, which they are, in the, presumably. The soul size is about seven, that's fairly average. It says we won't be able to tell who the culprit is from these footprints. Nothing new there. Okay, why is the blood still there? I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking look and cranny. Why is the snow in just a diagonal thing? And the blood splatter above the snow. There certainly was a substantial amount. You're, co you're correct on that. It's almost as if the murder was actually committed here. They could have just struck his head again, like... Well, no, the autopsy would have shown that. Unless Bonnie Allen was doing bullshit again. If he was struck in the head again, that would let more blood out, but... Hmm. Did they move the snow over here? Did they shovel the snow and move it here? But they would need to... Walk more to time, just, and, and it, will, it, will, it would not look right. Is it his blood? But Mr. Cameron should have been attacked near the snowman. Exactly. In that case, this blood must belong to somebody else. Did they not trick on that? What? But the police have said it was Mr. Cameron's blood. The, old, the one in charge of this case was placed the best. It would have been simple for him to falsify that report. But it be faster than just cleaning up the blood stains and then falsify the information. He, will, he won't be able to do that. Think about it. The ladies knew that Mr. Cameron's body was would be discovered here. In which case, the forensics department would naturally become involved. Ah! A luminal reaction! They would have discovered it with the power of science! Most seriously, it would have been difficult to completely erase all traces of the blood. However, falsifying the results of a blood test would be much easier in comparison. He would just have to, st to switch the results from the forensic re forensics reports. Ah, oh, what a bummer. No, no documents I read were falsified. Um, it looks like Mr. Cameron's ghost were completely sucked in blood. Hmm, if the blood scattered, scattered here got into Mr. Cameron's clones, then that would mean at the time the blood stains here had not dried yet. I see, so then this certainly this, this certainly has somebody's blood. Was blood that here just a short one that before Mr. Cameron was murdered? Or after? No, no. Oh, well, before. Indeed, that's exactly right. However, if that's the case, it also looks like that fire had burned off some of this blood. Oh, no, that's right, fun. One of the new contradictions arise in this recreation. That looks really fractally. <laughs> that crime scene 12 years ago belonged to someone other than the victim camera. Speaking of blood, I, I think I just caught my big toe. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, we have the deduce button. We got a deduce button. Is this put someone gonna take to any of the evidence I hold? I do believe it is. And we're saving again, saving again. Do we have a fire thing? Yes, we do. And this is a clear contradiction. Ah, you mean this blood stain? Do you see how this blood stain is broken up by the remains of the fire? This is proof that the fire occurred after the blood had scattered around the area. Ah, but I thought the fire occurred before the murder. It seems that that information is suspect as well. Of course. If the fire had broken out after the murder, then the child who started the fire should have seen the body and the blood stains. Why then did they not come forward as a witness? It's like it, it's unlikely that would have put the place at a great disadvantage. Guess we need to investigate this fire in more detail. So was it caused by the child or not? Eh, hey, you. Yes, sir. There's, there's a piece of records of the fire in the police department under a different case file. I want you to bring me every last investigation report about the fire. I understand, Steve. Well. Oh, 
god, I want more thing. What is it, sir? Go and the house of Langens and far. There's a bit of evidence from the case in my old man's room. Oh my, what do you mean? I just remembered. Why I recognize this scene? A long time ago, I saw a picture in my old man's room. There's a door in the symbol in this scene. What did you say? However, I think it looked like something a child drew. A child? Then the artist may have been the culprit behind the fire. It should still be somewhere in my old man's room. It's gonna be related to the third case. I have them send it over here. A copy you mean? Surely. And Stitcher! Uh, what are we waiting for right now? Uh, what are we waiting for right now? What are we waiting for right now? What, what, hang on, what is there still to do? Lang isn't fi It's gonna take a big for Lang Lang's car to be finished. What do we have to do? I thought they were locked off behind you, that's funny. We have nothing in logic, right? Just two things. I mean, I suppose this could be connected as well, now that I think about it. The main reason I didn't think so was I thought that we'd have to connect the one about what it did dig up as with some, some item and not. No. Not try to prove that he really was a, one of the kidnappers. In this suppose the place was one of the kidnappers. It became more likely that what he dug up yesterday is connected to abduction. Ah! What, what is it? I figured it out! It was Dresser! Dresser! Can the police have dug up the had the money? To ransom money? The 100 million dollar ransom? This microphone is in the way. But the quantum under the heat have tied down. Doesn't really sound like it matches the tone. It's far further back. Here. He laid to rest. He, okay. He laid to rest. So not Patricia, not Blaze. He. Is that Dohen? Was Dohen one of the kidnappers? What was it? How old is uh, Knightley? Is he even here? <laughs> this is a lot of fucking characters. Does it 24? 24! 12 years ago he was been 12! That's super relevant. Fifteen years ago, he would be nine. I, I was Horace and Knightley one of the one of the kids from the third case. I think the eights would line up. I do believe that I stated that um, at some point that I stated that that's a joke was a joke that maybe he was one of the kids, but I did not actually actually expect that to happen. I believe. I do believe he would be in the right age to be one of the kids, and also to be possibly the kid that threw the fire. I could definitely see him setting something on fire as a prank. <laughs> it would be very interesting that he would then become the president's bodyguard. Very. It's certainly possible. I know, right? Wait. That's a really random time for that. The concrete is broken and the ground beneath them is exposed. This place take up the ransom money. Ransom money, yeah. Is the investigation complete? Yes. Got scared for a moment when it didn't pop up. Oh, I didn't realize it only restores half. <laughs> That's fair enough. Got pretty close. I mean, I, I would have died multiple times, actually. Was it that was stage coming? 
But the game over mechanic isn't there to be experienced. It's to be, it's to be avoided, basically. Three for I'm back. Hmm. Yeah, because of the curvature in the walls around there, I can presume that the filming lot would be like further south, uh, while the westernmost flower beds were located like north from here and the west. And point the info on the on the fire on the fire the, the kids are on the far of the trying in the father's office. It's gonna be horrors, isn't it? And also Oh I'm ready to be waiting for this. I will put them over, he said, and also The information helped by Agent Lang's father. It's gonna be horse. Oh my lordy. Now those flower beds are reversed, like I see that immediately. But it's drawn by a kid. It would probably mean that the kid saw it from the other direction. Or maybe something like that. Kid. As far as the kid's drawing the code, this, <laughs> this is a great one. Um, he has that fucking doll with him. And those flowers. And that's Dohan's dog. Oh boy. And that's probably just Dohan. That's definitely Dohan. This is it. Exactly what I remembered. Well, this was the picture drawn by the child depicted in the night of the incident. The building looks too detailed to be from a child. Uh, like, come on, that, that door looks way too fucking fancy. The door frame. That's too correct. For chi child that draws faces like that. What's you? It's actually quite. That's something I've noticed before, it's that, it's that, um, they're bad at, the Ace Attorney artists are quite bad at depicting people who are, who are bad at art. Like, um, in Twilight and Tribulations, uh, Bridge to Turn About, Larry's drawing, it was obviously with dealers in lots of ways, but the fire in it, like, the fire was good. <laughs> like, that, that was not, that was not that, the bad looking fire, the fact that it defied gravity, what looked, looked ridiculous. Sure, but the f as far as the, tech, the shape theory itself goes, yeah, definitely it that that looks at least semi professional, semi. It sure looks like it was thrown with a child's touch. As I thought, the one who drew this is most likely the child who started the fire. More of the case fast, please. It's gonna be horrors. Ooh! If it's Horus, then that's an interesting connection between him and, uh, um... Dohen. But no, sorry, but it's gonna have to wait. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Oh no, come on, fuck, fuck off, let him speak. I think my old... Why do you think my old man had this? Perhaps he obtained it during the course, course of his investigation into the incident? Although I don't know why he would have concealed it. Agent Lang, might I be able to see the details of the fire? Yeah, sir. Allow me to read it post haste. The boy who started the fire snuck out of bed on the night of the incident. Hmm, it seems this boy went missing several days later. Oh? What? Don't tell me that he witnessed something he shouldn't have. But then, when was the draw included? That's horrible! He has a new child after all! Well, I'd hate for that to be the case. We can't rule out the possibility entirely. Ah. Uh, apparently, the boy left some stuff behind at the orphanage. I was taking a seven minutes. Oh, what the hell? So it's the missing horn. What's this? No, that's... What's that doing here, indeed? Hmm, Mr. Prosecutor, do you recognize this? Yes, I know one piece of evidence that's related to it. Oh, come on now. Which piece of evidence is related to that? Is what the boy left behind? Take that. I don't know what he's doing here. But isn't that the missing horn from this Mozilla doll? No, no way. You mean this came of the president? You know it. Yeah, I know that the president kept it closed by his decoration. I always thought it was strange how one of the horns was missing. 
So you, he's seen, he's seen the thing missing its horn for over 12 years. If you twist the horn, this Dolby action will play back any previously recorded audio. So if you twist the other horn, is it going to be a B-side? So if I put the missing horn back in place, you might be able to hear a different recording. Indeed, it is possible that all is currently on the 51st floor of the Grand Tower. That was a horrible pull attention on my part. Hey, you, you heard that right! Yes, sir, I'll be right back. He was really sort of letting him speak. He was about to say that it was nightly or something like that. If it's not nightly, then I'm gonna look, look like a fool. See, bro, I got it. No matter about seeing it at all. Well done. Get the prosecutor over there. If we insert the horn phone and the orphanage into the dome. Hey. It's a perfect fit. Well, I can't hear anything. Gotta kind of twist, twist, twist. Amy, is there anyone named Amy? Amy, 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 Amy. Am I forgetting anyone? Okay, could we not zoom? No. Amy, 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 Amy. Nada. Zilt zero Amy's around. Oh. Mr. Wang, Mr. Wang, it's Amy. It's been a while. I saw the news that you'll be coming to this country. I was really nervous about doing this. But I decided to send you a message. I don't know what for us to do. So we're gonna stop. Please, please, please. Hmm. Please, please, please stop this playback. Judge Courtney. Ah, what's wrong? Stop, stop it now. Okay, I'm, I'm fucking up her voice. Oh, so Justin Courtney and uh, um, the president either she's adopted the president's son or they two had an affair of some sort, which would be a, a, a fair reason for why she couldn't say why she met, met the president. Amy, well, no, Amy. It, it, it's Amy Justin Courtney's sister, or something like that. We definitely talk. Hmm. Amy. It's a boy. Your son. See, he's just been born. I don't know what the voice to do for this Amy right now. I might call the presumption that it's Justin. That they talk like Justin Gordon to. I'm sorry. That's all I wanted to tell you. His name is John. John Mars. It's a fine name for him, don't you think? Ah. <laughs> M Mars. Did did you say, John? I had been waiting in the courtyard of the orphanage at midnight on February 9th. Even if it's just once, I want John to be able to meet you. So definitely a love of some sort. I'm sorry if I'm a bit selfish, but I'll be waiting. So this person definitely disappeared. No. No way, Th that was my... John... Does he John know that he's adopted or something? If they're adopted... Ugh, I, I, I don't... I don't... No, <laughs> I don't know deal, deal with some of these voices that are just... On the recording, so on the phone. What's the meaning of this, Miss Courtney? John is... Not my biological son. He's... Adopted. Fair enough. So is Amy. Did John know about this? Of course he knew. John's mother, Amy Mars, passed away about five years ago. Five. She and I were cousins. Since we were young, we've always been fairly close. We were often mistaken for sisters. That's interesting. So... Hang on. Did you end up John five years ago, or did you... When, what happened? That's why, when she passed away, 
I thought it was only natural that I look after John. Also, th there were circumstances which prevented me from revealing his father's identity. I never even told John his father's name. Okay. Right, and uh, the president did come to the film, but, but then he did meet John White briefly, right now. So why were they meet at the orphanage? But, but John at the time was... Wait... What is this tell 12 years ago? The murder happened 12 years ago. John is 13. That explains why the whole Justin Courtney's age thing. <laughs> With her being 13 years older. That clear set up, thank goodness. Um, so John would have been still a baby when this murder happened. So this audio recording is a bit older than the murder. And now it's all been revealed, thanks to the recording on that doll. Did John's mother send the doll to the president? Hey. John! Was he the president? Was the really my dad? Yes, yes he was. Before you were born, Amy worked as a diplomat in Seng Fa. A diplomat? So that must be how she became acquainted with President Wong. Hang on, didn't you tell me that she worked at, at the orphanage? Ah uh, yes, after returning to this country, Amy left her job as a diplomat, so that's why they met at the, the orphanage. She always had great passion for charity work, so she began working at the orphanage. Past five years ago, huh? Hey, Miss Courtney. So the same girl, she got the president there herself, but she never saw that part of the scene. That's just five, isn't it? What's with that? Amy couldn't make it. Apparently, someone had been following her the whole night. Perhaps it was place. I can't say for certain, but it's possible that it was his doing. Her death might have been his doing as well. After that, Amy never got another chance to see the president again. So she died five years ago. This conversation must be painful for John. Alright! Oh, hey John, you thirsty? That's an interesting way to try to show him up. How about, be, how about I buy both of us some juice? We can go together. I'm a part of this too. I'm listening to the end. Besides, I can afford to buy my own juice. <laughs> oh, set time by your kid. That's one of the funniest things I heard from this game. I can't afford to buy my own shoes. John, do you understand the reason I met with the president two days ago? Yep, yep. The secret meeting from two nights ago. I wanted to tell him about Amy's death and that you were alive and well. But I... I... I see. That's why you couldn't tell us about your reasons for meeting with the president until now. I get it. She would have had to re reveal his connections with John. I bought a bouquet of lion lilies. So that he would understand I truly did know about Amy. Those, those flowers are a dear memory to the president and Amy. Also, the first presidency we see from the president was a bouquet of lion lilies. But now, even he has passed away. If only he were still alive. So at least two couples have a title relating to this case. The president and Amy, uh, and then... The witness, the witness and Jill. Um. Perhaps I could have introduced him to John. I mean, John did meet him for a brief moment. I'm not, I'm not sure if she even knows about that. Keep going, no frame. Zero! <laughs> I'm sorry, in the ramp, this is free, that's for free, that is something I need to say. It's a boat horse night, isn't it? Oh, what's it now? Can't this wait? Well, actually, there's one last item I've been dealing with here for Zang Fa. I have it here. The president's will. The president's will. Okay, that's relevant. Well, what? Well, the president's will. Okay, that could be the motive for murder. 
mild man visit a great number of special medals from the president himself. As a token of his trust, the president left his will in the possession of the Lion Clan. So this would be an older will if he's, they refuse to meet with each other. Well, if the president refused to meet with him. Those medals and that will, they were the pride of our clan. Our family's treasure, so to speak. But this would not be an aged will, has he not updated it? Agent Lang, does that will have something to do with the current case? I bet it does. It says here. I hereby acknowledge John Marsh as my own son. Oof. Oh, what? John's name is in the president's will? Are you certain that that will was written by the president? Yeah, he entrusted it to the Lang Lang. Even before this is five years that took place, which was roughly around one year before, they'll have it appropriate. They'll have to appraise it back home. But by the name of the Langland, this is the real deal. The Di Hu Young was the Di Hu Young was the president of the of an entire nation, and the existence of his son would have caused considerable controversy. However, he left behind a will just in case. This makes it doubly sure. I still can't believe it myself. But there's the rule for doubt. So it's nothing about Nightly Cut, I mean. John Marsh, you are the son of T. Hugh Young, the president of Sing Fa. We already got that. <laughs> Why is Gumshoe? What's Gumshoe's reaction to that? John! Sheesh. I probably don't think I've heard anything. Okay, he looked to be handling way better than he did. He really just pulled a poker face, though. John! This is a fine place to get it. Actually, let's just see the next queen. Just okay, here. 